time for another episode of The Get Up. What's The Get Up? The Get Up is a slingshot. It's a chance to pull back your day and launch you into a brand new adventure with encouragement, motivation, and practical actions that you can apply to the goals you care about the most. Today, I want to teach you a quick lesson about empathy. Empathy is one of those words that I get to talk a lot about during the year when I travel as a public speaker. I get to go all over the world talking to companies like Microsoft and Nissan and Comedy Central and FedEx and Lockheed Martin. And one of the things I talk to them about is empathy because I think right now we need it more than ever before. But what is empathy? It's a soft sounding word, isn't it? It sounds like a candle flavor at Bed Bath & Beyond, like empathy and sandalwood. Mmm, it's delicious. Here's how I define empathy. It's understanding what someone needs and acting on it. Two parts, understand what they need and then actually act on it. So how do we do that? In a practical way, what does it look like for you and I to have more empathy? Whether we're a business, whether we're in a marriage, whether we wanna have more empathy for our kids or our neighbors or our coworkers or anyone, how do we have more empathy? Well, I actually learned a really surprising lesson from a chimney sweep. I spoke at a big event for chimney sweeps. I don't know if you knew they have those. They do. And they brought your boy to speak to him. And before I went to the event, they said, hey, do not do any Mary Poppins jokes, which was good for me to know because I guess I would have assumed like Mary Poppins was their Michael Jordan, but they are apparently chim chimneyed up. They want no part of that movie. But I went and I spoke at the event. And after I met a chimney sweep named Joe. And Joe came up to me and said, hey, John, I was having a problem with my business. I was having a problem getting people to remember to schedule their annual cleaning. I grew up in Massachusetts and it's cold there. We had a wood burning fireplace. And if you have a wood burning fireplace, you know you have to get it cleaned once a year so that it doesn't catch on fire, which is in my opinion, a design flaw for chimneys. If your whole goal is to contain fire that you could catch on fire seems, but that's beside the point. I'm not trying to fix the chimney industry today. That's another video, probably. But he said no one would think about it. Because here's the reality. If you're in business, no one is thinking about your business right now. No one is thinking about you. No one right now is going, I can't wait to see what they roll out. I'm so excited to see what they do next. They're thinking about themselves. And he said, John, so nobody would think about it. I'd email them. I'd call them. I'd send direct mail. And then the first cold weekend of the year, everybody would call me and I couldn't service them all. So he decided to try a little empathy. He decided to try something that mattered. He said, you know, I noticed that a lot of my customers were dog owners. For whatever reason, they own dogs. So he decided if I'm at a customer's house and their dog is out and their dog is friendly, I'm gonna pet the dog. I'm gonna ask what the dog's name is. I'm gonna take a picture of the dog. And that's what he did. And then the day after the visit, he had an app on his phone. This is what phone means, by the way, this is a phone. And it would turn photos into postcards. And he would send that customer a picture of their dog and in the corner would be a dog's name, the chimney sweep's name, the date of their next appointment and his URL. And he said, John, do you know where dog owners put photos of their dogs when you send them one? Can you guess where they put those? He said, the fridge, of course. He said, do you know how many of my other advertisements people put on the fridge? Nobody does that. Nobody's like, oh, chimney times is here. Clear the kids report cards. My daddy was a chimney man. I'm a chimney man. It's in my blood. Pointed flat. I love chimneys. Nobody does that. And that little detail changed his business. And you know what he did? He cared about what the people he cared about cared about. That's one of the tricks to empathy. Care about what the people you care about care about. That's all he did. He said, these dogs matter, so they're going to matter to me because these customers matter to me. And you can do that in any facet of life. You can do that in parenting. I guarantee that right now there are some parents watching this that if they were honest, they would say, John, I don't love some of the sports my kids love. Like, baseball is really boring. Like, it's super boring. And we have 42 tournaments every weekend and 19 games. And in a total of 19 games, we only had four runs scored. And it's a long weekend. I don't love baseball. But you love your kid. So you care about what somebody who you care about cares about. Same in marriage. Like, somebody watching this right now, their spouse owns a green egg. And to be married to somebody who owns a green egg is to hear about the green egg an awful lot. Like they should give you a green egg tattoo. Like when you get a green egg, you talk about the green egg. That's just part of owning a green egg. I think they're amazing. But some people probably don't want to hear that. But a spouse will say, I'm so excited that my spouse 
loves their green egg, I'm willing to listen to that. Maybe for you, it's like a saltwater aquarium tank. There's only two types of people, people who aren't really into saltwater aquarium tanks and people who are really into it. And they want to tell you all about the pH balance and what they're doing with the salt level and the fish they're in, like introducing and how it's going to be crazy. And if you're married to that person, you care about that because you care about that person. So if you want to have more empathy, care about what the people you care about, care about. Find ways to say, okay, what really matters to them? And then how do I make it matter to me too? That's what empathy looks like. Thanks for watching another episode of The Get Up. Please make sure you hit that like button. Please make sure you subscribe. I'll keep making these as long as you keep watching them.